very special guest. This is her first time performing at the club. Really make her feel welcome. She's hilarious. Give it up for Ms. Amber Preston. Hey, how about another hand for Jeff? Yeah, right? Jeff, my birthday is in May, and uh, I have unlimited text messaging, so. Go nuts or whatever. <laughs> Uh, I thought, I was in a really good mood. This is exciting. It's a great night. You guys are fun. I had a big day. I got uh, I got recognized on the street. I, you know, it's, it was it's very exciting. Uh, this gentleman came up to me and he said, "Hey, hey, I know you. Aren't you that young lady that fell on the treadmill last week?" <laughs> I said, "Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> it's banging out a 2K incline on one. You know how I do. Right? It's hitting it pretty hard, and then." Down I went. Well, I had the in it was like down and out. It was like, it's like a whoosh. And I got I'm exfoliated well on one side. Just getting fit, getting in shape. I've been, uh, I've been eating all the kale. That's the, the thing the kids are doing. Like, I'm on the kale train. You guys try it. Do you like the kale? Right, it's good stuff. I'm talking, eating all this kale is giving me that feeling of superiority, you know? That listening to NPR just didn't quite fulfill, you know what I mean? <laughs> Some doubters, I see it, I see it out there. I feel your doubt. You try it, you take a handful of raw kale and you throw it in a fruit smoothie, you don't even taste the strawberries. <laughs> That's how good it is. <laughs> I did not have a lot of kale growing up. I am from Fargo, North Dakota. I think somebody booed. Half of you are wondering if that's in Canada and if it's a real place. It is. It's real nice. There are perks to growing up in a place like Fargo, North Dakota, you guys. You know, Only in a place like North Dakota does someone like me get cast as a shark girl in West Side Story because I look the most Puerto Rican. <laughs> yeah. 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 Como estas? Yeah. yeah. Oh, for precioso. Yeah, gracias. Yeah. We're all good then. <laughs> My parents still live there. My dad is nuts. My dad, he used to be like a really cool guy and then like a dirty hippie. And then in his old age, he, like, he's gone so far to the right that he wants to build a wall around North Dakota to keep people out. <laughs> Newsflash, <laughs> no one's trying to get in. <laughs> it's negative 20 below. <laughs> Weather's taking care of it. I get my bad eyesight from my dad. My dad has trifocals in his glasses. That's, you guys understand, that's three different prescriptions in this teeny tiny area. I don't know how he functions throughout the day, <laughs> but boy, is it fun to watch him play Angry Birds. <laughs> <Just like. laughs> He's a big biker guy, which makes me a little nervous on the Harley. If you see a guy screaming down the road that looks like Kenny Rogers, pre-surgery, doing that. Just <laughs> Have you seen Kenny? He, lo he looks a little taut. He's a little taut. <laughs> Love him, but goodness, you know. So my dad's a big biker guy. He travels a lot. He's always giving me pointers to the road because I'm on the road a lot. So it's Amber, Amber, come here. Amber, okay. Amber, come here. Okay, okay Amber, Amber, what you got to do is is you gotta pack up all your old underwear and then just throw them away as you go. <laughs> no, no you do not. If my father goes missing, that is not a trail I'm willing to follow. <laughs> the dogs can sniff that one out. <laughs> but at least he's got the right idea. Good Midwestern moms, you keep every scrap of everything in the house. You moms, you save everything. Oh, don't throw those un old underwears away. Keep it here. Put him in my rag pile. Give it here. Give it here. No, no, you don't put him in the rag pile. Because then what happens is your teenage daughter is cleaning the windows with mom's granny panties. Yeah. Then your brother's cute friends show up and you don't go to the prom and you become a stand up comedian. <laughs> but it's worked out. I do have a nice fella. He's a good egg. I'm a very lucky lady. Uh, it's getting kind of serious. 
a few months ago, uh, we <laughs> we moved in together. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it's going pretty great. <laughs> Quick question, when you first move in with someone that you love, is it appropriate to keep writing your name on your own food? Is that cool? <laughs> Thank you guys so much. My name is Amber Preston. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs>